Hi all. Today I am going to install the Prime NG inside an Angular 18 application. So I already created an Angular 18 application with a standalone option as the true. So before installing, I will explain what is Prime NG. This Prime NG contains a lots of UI components required for an Angular project. And the Prime Flex is a CS utility library which contains lots of helpers for the grid system, Flexbox, and much more. Let's go to the installation. So you have to install the Prime NG and Prime icons and also Prime Flex. For that, you can give the command npm install Prime NG, Prime icons, and Prime Flex. Installation is done. If you go to the package.json file, you can see the Prime Flex, Prime icons, and Prime NG is there. The next step is we have to import all the styles related to the Prime NG either in Angular.json file or in style.css file. So, first I will show how to do it in Angular.json. In Angular.json, there will be a style array. Here you can import all the Prime NG related styles. So I have added the theme CSS, Prime NG Minified CSS and the Prime Flex CSS. In order to get this path, you can go to the documentation and you will get the theme CSS and the Prime NG Minified CSS. To get the Prime Flex CSS, go to the website of Prime Flex and copy this path. So this is how you will get all the path. If you want to use any other theme, you can change it here. So save it. Next, we will import a component from the Prime NG. So go to the Prime NG website. Search for button component and import the button module. So here I have only one component. So in app.component.ts file, I'm importing button module, just adding in the imports array, then copy the HTML part and add it in the app.component.html. So if you do any change in the angular.json file, make sure you have restart the application. So now you can see the button component from the Prime NG. So that is working. Next method is instead of importing all the styles in the angular.json, we can add it in the style.css. So I'm just removing from here. And in the style.css file, you can add the path using app import. So make sure the path starts from the Prime NG. Save. Since we done the changes in angular.json file, restart the application. Now instead of angular.json, we added everything in style.css and checking whether everything is working fine. So we already added the button. So it has been refreshed and the button is working fine now. So these are the two ways you can add either in style.css or in angular.json file.